Now, this particular time, you can see here, 2004, 2006, those first two years of the academy were my, were my toughest. I literally had the weight of the world on my shoulders. So what was weighing me down? It was the study. It was the commute. It was no relationship with a girlfriend. It was a feeling of isolation, a feeling of being a burden to my parents. It was work, uh, there was no career. Insensitive comments, work pressures, and simply no light at the end of the tunnel. And then one day there was a workplace conversation, what husbands and wives do at home. Somebody said, oh, the wife, she's responsible for shopping. Oh, the husband, he's responsible for getting the uh, motor vehicle maintained by the mechanic. And somebody's popped up, oh, Greeny, he's got it easy. He lives at home with mum and dad. What comes to mind when you think of a fully capable 33-year-old male living at home with his elderly parents? Any ideas? <laughs> Any ideas at all? Loser? Well, that's exactly how I felt. And that comment was the straw placed on the camel's back that broke me, and I caved internally, become highly distressed. And I had to leave the office, but I couldn't walk out on Dave Stevenson. He'd simply been the best boss that I'd ever had. So I went, Dave, and sought him down, and he could see I was highly distressed, and he said, Greeny, come with me. And we went, and went to a building, it was empty, and we sat on the stairs. I told him all what was going on, the pressures, the comment, how was it feeling. And what did he do? He shared a story in his life where he hit a really low point. And we talked a little bit more, and he suggested that I pack up my things, you know, go home, maybe go for a run, you know, you like running green, maybe do something to take your mind off, watch a movie. And that's exactly what I did. And the next day, I didn't call in sick, I didn't go on stress leave, I didn't give up on my job. I turned up to work. Why? This is the lesson I wish to pass to you today, wish to share. As mental health professionals, I am sure that you will be aware of it, but I hope this serves as a great reminder. Critical to supporting a person who is suffering post-traumatic stress, building trust.